to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to achieve this look, which is a halo eye using the Bloodlust palette from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. This is my very first makeup tutorial that I've ever, ever, ever done. It did not come out perfect, but it's something I tried to do and it's, it's okay. So I'm still gonna go along with it. I really hope you enjoy this video. And if you wanna learn how to achieve this look, keep on watching. Okay, in order to get started with this halo eye, I've completed my face makeup. First, I'm gonna use a primer. This is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer to prime the lids before I start putting shadows on them. Once you've primed your eyelids, you're ready to start with the eyeshadow. I'm gonna get started with a matte white shade called Your Majesty located right here in the palette. And I'm just gonna coat that over my eyelids and all the way up into my brow. And what that, that is gonna do is give me a base to start off from. Next, we're gonna start with the halo eye. And we're actually gonna go in with the darkest color first. I'm gonna go in with the shade Blood Queen right here. It's another matte shade and it's the darkest purple in the palette. Once the shadow is ready to go, you're gonna place it on your eye and you're gonna go from one side of your eye to the other side of your eye, like a halo. I like to pat the colors in there to make sure that they are ready to go. That way the eyeshadow doesn't come out patchy. Now my halo eyes always start out looking a little bit like Ursula's eyelids. Also, it's not in a perfect circle, but that's okay because I'm following my eye shape and I feel like in the end it works out. Once you have packed on the darkest color onto your lids, you're gonna go in with a shade that's a little bit lighter than the dark color. And this is where you're gonna start blending out the outsides. We're gonna take a little bit of a thicker brush instead of a little one to blend it out. I'm gonna go in with this shade right here called High King. I'm gonna start using this shade to blend out. I'm holding the brush towards the end and not applying too much pressure. I know, we look crazy, but once you've blended those out to your liking, you're gonna go in with a third color that's even lighter than the one you just used. So I'm gonna go in with deviant right here and I'm gonna blend it even more we love a crazy moment so now that you look absolutely insane and you look kind of like a raccoon we're gonna go ahead and cut the crease taking a concealer you're going to dab a little bit of it just on the center of your eyelid get it on a rounder brush Dab it on the center of your eyelid just like this and all you're going to do is look up. And it creates a line for you to already follow. So all I'm gonna do to cut the crease is follow that line. Now once you've cut that crease to the best of your ability, it's time to put the lighter shadow right there. We're gonna take a brush similar to what you just used to cut the crease, and we're gonna actually get it wet. I like to use this Mario, please forgive me, Mario Badescu, I think, and I like to use that to get my brushes wet, especially when you're gonna put on a lighter or a shimmer shade in a cut crease. When you get it wet, it sticks more to it and goes on a lot thicker. I'm gonna go in with the shade, take the crown. Oh, yep, okay. Jeffrey, you literally never, never, never cease to just blow me away. Oh, it's so beautiful, I just, I can't. Once you have completely filled in where you cut your crease, you're gonna go back in and blend it out. What I'm gonna do is take uh, the darker color that I used very first, so I'm gonna go in with Blood Queen, and I'm gonna use that to kind of blend that cut crease. Use a fluffier brush for this one because you're gonna need it to blend. If it's not perfect, who cares? You're trying. I'm trying right now. You're trying. 
everything's going to be fine for us, okay? Now that you have blended that out a little bit, we're done with the upper lid, but what we're going to do now is blend a little bit of the color underneath our lid. We're going to go in with the shade Vivid Mood. We haven't used this one before, and I'm going to go ahead and put that down here. All right, so after you've done that, we're gonna go ahead and highlight the brow bone in the inner corner of the eye. I like to take a small brush for this one. I'm gonna go in with the shade um, Wet Jewel right here. I think it's super pretty. Ugh, we are slaying. Now that we have finished up the eyeshadow, we're gonna go in with a little bit of eyeliner on the lid. Now, once you've lined your eyes, you're gonna go ahead and curl your eyelashes and apply mascara to the top and bottom lashes. Afterwards, you're gonna pick out a set of lashes and apply them to finish off the look. Okay. We have put lashes on. I'm gonna take a white eyeliner and line the waterline just to open up my eyes a little bit more and make them appear to be brighter. And for the lips, I'm just gonna line my lips with a nude liner. Yay for tiny lips. And then I'm gonna go in with Liquid Lipstick by Stila. This is in the shade Angelo. I overline my lips a little bit, but obviously you don't have to. I'm actually gonna coat it with the gloss. I'm gonna go in with the Jeffree Star gloss in the shade Sky High. Finally, don't forget your setting spray. I'm gonna go in with the iconic London setting spray. This one has a little bit of shimmer in it and it's beautiful. And that's it, that completes this look. I really hope you enjoyed my very, very first makeup tutorial. It didn't come out perfect. I didn't expect it to, but I'm gonna keep practicing and hopefully get better. And if you follow this, let me know how it goes. If you have any suggestions, I'd also love to hear them as I am learning. So thank you so much and thank you for visiting my channel. It means so much to me. Um, subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you want. If not, maybe I'll see you next time. Bye.